not on yet. Let me go again. Now, now it's now it says live. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. We believe we are on now. It's green. Okay. I'm going to make sure I hear my voice. All right. What's Am I on? I can hear you, Don. All right. Looks like we have some new equipment here, Stretch. Yeah. Uh, this, this, this some headset, upgrades. This. Yeah. So I think – can we move the camera around real quickly so I can see the camera kind of move here? Okay. Good deal. I'm going to wait until we see the uh, – oh, I'm on – Teacher skit from the talent show. <laughs> Let me try that again. Uh, now, that's still the old uh, Larkin Camp uh, prayer. If you're out there listening and you're watching us live, shoot us a text, 515 1214. It's on Oh, it is yep. Okay, so my phone's off. Hey, Don, how's it going? Hey, man. Nothing like uh, testing equipment. We are live. Yeah, we are live, I guess. Uh, well, I'm watching us and hearing us. That's awesome. That's awesome. Suresh, have you already talked about who we're playing? No, I haven't. Uh, we are playing Madison St. Joe, a new 4A opponent, Don. want to welcome you to the booth. We've Do what? Okay, sure. Donna, uh, this is a team that's new to 4A soccer. We played them earlier this year at Madison at a beautiful campus over there, Don, and we defeated them 4 nothing with Georgia Caroline Self scoring two goals in like the first four minutes of the contest or something like that. Uh, well, St. Joe getting a little deep penetration here. Ball goes to the outside. It's going to be taken care of by Lillian Harvey. Uh, we beat them 4 nothing earlier this year, the first time we've ever played them. And... Um, Georgia Caroline had two goals, and Sarah Presley had two goals and a 4 nothing victory. It was pretty close in the second half. Neither team could get anything going offensively, but uh, uh, easy goal by Madison wow. Marlowe. I hope wow. I got it. <laughs> Left in the first half, and wow, that was quick. Uh, one nothing's to score. Skeeter Weems taking the ball on the left side with a cross over to uh, Madison Barlow, scoring her umpteenth goal of the season. Is that a word, umpteenth? Yeah, it is now, yes, sir. Okay, great. You, but you're right. She's been on a tear. So Leading, that was. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was going to say after an early threat by uh, St. Joe, the Lady Mustangs waste no time taking it the length of the field and putting it in the back of the net. Yep. Uh, Elise Howard takes the ball to the outside and looks like she's going to try to cross it. And she goes to the outside. Double covered there. Oh, the ball's taken away. It's going to be off of Elise. And it's going to be a goal kick. Don, this team comes in this contest 9-3-1 uh, and one on, the, on the year. The last time when we were in action was a week ago, playing against probably the best girls team. Well, the best girls team in 5A in Jackson Prep. Uh, losing that contest 3 nothing. It was 2 nothing till late, and they scored a goal late on a uh, <clears throat> set play. Yeah, they scored one early, and they scored one late. And in between, it was just one goal allowed. Uh, by the way, J.A. and Prep are playing right now. I saw that earlier. Number three deep down the corner forces a corner kick. Yeah, we'll have to uh, – if y'all are – Watching out there, if you get a chance to kind of tune in to the uh, Prep J.A. game, we'd love to give a little update there. That's a battle of two superpowers. I'll tell you what, Prep, you know, J.A. beat Prep earlier this year, and that did. shocks me. Uh, I just um, – and we split with J.A. this year. I don't know. But um, anyways, uh, uh, Prep will be looking for a revenge. Well, a corner kick, the first corner kick of the contest, two and a half minutes into the game, uh, as the Madison St. Joe with their first corner kick. See what happens here. I can hear you fine, by the way, Don. So I don't know. Uh, Madison Show with the corner, big, big nice shot kick. to the middle, over the top, over everybody. And there's Skeeter Weems with the ball. Weems in the box, over to Kaylee Harden. So Madison uh, St. Joe is in the south, I assume. Yes. Um, do you know how they're faring? I don't. I will tell you when we played them earlier this year. They had just lost to Lamar at Lamar in Meridian, three to two. So you know that that's Tight pretty game, good. Yeah. yeah. When you can when you can come within one goal at uh, Meridian, that's pretty awesome. The ball's going to be turned over there, but Georgia Caroline gets it right back, boots it to the middle, over to Avery Howard coming across the middle. Avery tries to get around the defender, can't do it. GC with the ball. So St. Joe moved up from three A to four A. They took the place of Hartfield, which was a team that we were glad mm -hmm. to see go to five A. Ugh. <laughs> You agree with that? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Thorn in our sides. In many sports. 
in many sports. Hartfield's growing by leaps and bounds. And, uh, yeah, uh, uh, looks like Kaylee Harden gets the ball over, trying to get it over to uh, Sarah Presley, Ooh. and they boot the ball down the field. Big boot by uh, number seven, yep. I think. Yeah. Lillian Harvey with a nice tap over to – uh, uh, our, goal our goalie, um, Madeline, Mad Dog Maddox. Okay, how did I forget that? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. Sorry up, about that. You keep up with a lot of uh, information in that noggin yeah, here, so exactly. sometimes. Exactly. I'm sorry. I have synapses my misfire. I had my thought process on cleaning rooms today. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Avery Howard gets the ball over the middle, getting it over to Barlow, Madison Barlow, over to Georgia Caroline. GC gets the ball, trying to get the ball over to Kaylee, but not enough on there. But Kaylee's able to take it back. Uh, gets the ball over to Sarah Presley. Um, Sarah Presley goes over the middle, over to Georgia Caroline. Georgia Caroline takes a shot from the outside. You know, she's she's kind of specializing in that that little fade yeah. that falls back down shot, and she couldn't quite get it on goal there. That was uh, a, a yeah. good-looking kick, yeah, just yeah. a little to the right of the yeah. – of the goal. You know, we have a decent crowd here today, but is it my imagination or is it kind of quiet out here? It is a little quiet. <laughs> it is. is. Is it these headsets that are just taking all the all the noise I, away? It, they really do uh, lock out all outside yeah, sound. Yeah. I can hear my heartbeat. <laughs> Ooh, a player kind of falls down there for Madison as the ball goes over the top. Lola gets the ball over to Mad Dog Maddox. Maddox gets the ball back to Lola. Lola goes the outside. Plants it to the middle. She was not smiling when she did that, which is a little different for her. She's usually smiling 24-7. Yeah. You know, Mary Claire has, has said earlier in an interview that, that Holly Whitfield and Lola Ricketts, I mean, for sure, uh, are two of the most improved players on the team this year. Oh, yeah. And have really uh, made that defensive line continue to be special. Absolutely. Uh, that's a good point there. Uh Definitely the two most improved players. Ball goes down the field over to Avery, trying to get it, and goes off of a defender, number 22 for Madison St. Joe, and it'll be Pill Academy with the throw-in. Yeah, uh, you know, when we lost those four great defenders from last year's team, really kind of worried about the defense, what oh would happen. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Avery, that's a throw-in when you flip over yourself. <laughs> she tripped on a blade of grass on the way in. <laughs> I'm sure uh, her basketball coaches, Coach uh, Hodges and uh, – Coach Carpenter probably laughed at that one as Avery kind of threw the ball in and flipped over herself. Um, so it's going to be a goal kick by Madison uh, St. Joe. We'll be back in action, closing out the regular season as we entertain St. Al in our final divisional contest of the year in the regular season. Uh, yeah, this Thursday. turned into a parochial school week, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, uh, that's exactly right. A couple of Saints, uh, Madison St. Joe and St. Al. See, that's why they pay you the big bucks. I that's never right. thought about that observation here. <laughs> yeah, so, folks, if you've got an old schedule that says we play St. Al next, probably Thursday or Tuesday to finish the season, but they move that up to this week to Thursday. Yeah. They uh, they changed the playoffs off. As a matter of fact, next week is playoff time. Can you believe that? Oh, I figured we'd have, like, a week off. Nope. That, that's why they changed the schedule. They moved the playoffs up. Avery Howard goes to the inside. Nice play by four. Avery trying to get around one. Boy, she got him. <laughs> a little shove there. A lot Avery of Howard, Yeah, a little, little Howard push there. Typical. <laughs> Lillian tries to get it, but it's turned over by uh, Lillian. Nice hustle by Georgia Caroline. Get that ball back. Crosses it to the middle over to Barlow. Barlow walks over, but is able to recover. It's ball over George Caroline. Nice touch over to Elise Howard. Elise Howard trying to lead over the middle, but it's going to be intercepted by St. Joe. St. Joe has, like, everybody on their team back on defense except for one girl. Do you blame them? Skeeter Reams over the middle trying to get the ball over Sarah Presley. Yeah, you know, after that first uh, goal, 38 seconds in the contest, I don't blame them. You know, it's amazing. Ooh. I think – I literally think that uh, – Georgia Caroline scored her first goal against Madison St. Joe at, at 45 seconds in. Oh, nice pass over to Avery Howard. Avery Howard to the nice middle. Nice move. A shot and she scores. That was a really nice cross by uh, Georgia by Caroline. By Georgia Caroline, yeah. And Avery 
almost looked like she stopped that ball like between her ankles. Yeah, <laughs> and then made a nice move. Both the defender and the goalie went to the right. She went to the left, scored yeah. two O pillow. Two O pillow, just like that. Thirty one forty seven left in the first half. You know the the observation I was trying to make was uh, I think Georgia Caroline scored forty five seconds into the contest at Madison St Joe, and Madison Barlow scores thirty eight seconds into the contest. Uh, against Madison St. Joe here. Boy, she beat the record by Georgia Caroline. Yeah, very similarly, sh- uh, yeah. got two on the board in eight minutes. Yeah. Took a little longer maybe. Yeah, yeah. I think it was like four minutes that game. So, uh, uh, Pillow's, Pillow's got a 2 nothing lead here as Lola takes the ball down the field. Um, it's amazing how, uh, how we're so good on our field. And that's just so important as Holly Whitfield gets the ball for the first time. It's so important as, as we go to the playoffs – we're going to be at home for the playoffs, which is so key. Well, we love this field. We do. The state champ. If we make it to the state championship game, uh, it'll be at Jackson Prep. I, I, you know, I don't know if they're going to play it on the turf or on the regular grass field. I'm not sure uh, what the plans are. Uh, but um, either way, uh, nice Ooh. pass over to Skeeter Weems, and she has the ball taken away by 22. Uh, either way, if if a team from the north is going to want to supplant Pillow and go to the state championship game, they got to do it here on the campus of Chazzy Moore Field. Um, so, what day do the do, do the playoffs start next Tuesday? Or next Thursday? Tuesday, Tuesday. Uh, we're going to have. To, I think the game starts at six thirty. So, hopefully, you'll be able to make it on time from city council meeting, and it'll be next Tuesday. And then the uh, semifinal game will be on Thursday, and then the championship game will be on Monday of fall break. Oh. Um, so, oh, uh, okay. That'll be in Jackson. Yep. Fall breaks on the 10th and 11th. Ball goes over the middle. Elise Howard had well, the ball. Well, hopefully that'll uh, – we'll get there, number one, and that'll assure us of a good student crowd there. You know, it's usually a tradition of uh, around fall break of having the championship game there. You know, the year that we won it was actually on a Saturday, and the reason I remember that was because – you and I were getting a million texts from, like, Ole Miss and Mississippi State of, like, you know, fraternities and so on watching that, right. <laughs> that pillow Hartfield game yep. from 2018. Georgia Caroline boots it out yeah, of bounds. I know State had a, a game on campus. Yeah, yeah. Folks so, were tuned in in the junction and around uh, right. Starkville. Uh, looks like Catherine Giesbrick's coming in for – I think Skeeter Weems is coming out of the contest. Catherine will be coming in on the – Left side. Uh, last year, it was on a Monday. You and I were at MRA for that contest. Um, two years ago, well, we we lost to Starkville. We won't talk about that in the quarters. And then uh, three years ago was when we made it to the championship game, and that was on a Saturday. So um, I was like, we have a cross over the middle, trying to get the ball over to Avery Howard. Avery's running way out as the ball kind of bends away here. Do you recall um, the last time – well, last last year was when they had it on a uh, Monday. Boy, Howard's just being persistent there. But do you recall uh, the game back in 2007, 2016 at Lamar? It was on a Monday. I, that was a dare – oh, shot and scores. Nice, nice Beautiful cross goal. by Sarah Presley over to Barlow. There was going to be no doubt that no. was going to – The big left foot. Of get in the goal. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, I do. That's the game that ended in the darkness. Yep, that was a Monday. And you, you talked. The reason I brought that up is you talked about fall break, and how that's going to be encourage a nice crowd. Do you remember that big crowd we had for that game? Mm-hmm. That was huge. It was uh, that was a senior at Brock's final game, and that was the game that ended in the dark. And that was on a Monday. We had a huge contingency, a contingent group from uh, um. Greenwood go to that contest. And that's a that's a long drive. It so was. They did a great job. Madeline Barlow comes out for a little rest. Yeah. Hey, you said there's a long drive. That was a long drive back. Do you remember that night? Driving back. I do remember. <laughs> you keep asking. Why are you testing my memory uh, so you much? Know, hey, man. You had it two. Was my gr- daughter's senior year, I Suresh. Know, I, I remember it. You had two girls on that team, and they were distraught after that contest. It was a very difficult loss there. It was. Yeah. If you're just joining us, Pill Academy has. Uh, Four shots on goal, three goals as uh, it's 3 nothing. Pillow scoring. Uh, Madison Barlow with a goal from across from Skeeter Weems with 39-22 left in the first half. Uh, Georgia Caroline with a nice cross over to Avery Howard for the second goal to make it 2 nothing. And then Madison Barlow with a nice cross. Ooh, All these crosses. snuck that one in. 
Nice cross from uh, Sarah Presley Howard to make it 3-0. Well, ahead. Lady Mustang just really came out here in a business-like way and yeah. uh, went right to work. Yep. The solid 3-0 lead here early. Yep. By the way, the uh, the junior varsity won, I think, was the final 3-0? Uh, I think that's right. Yep, 3-0 junior varsity team. Um, I think that might have been their final contest of the year. It may have been, unless St. Al's bringing nope. one over. Nope. The game starts on Thursday, I believe, at 5 o'clock or 5.30. We need to double-check that, as they called a foul on Lola. Uh, uh, there's no junior varsity uh, game, so that was the final game. Number 20 from Madison Marla boots it to the box over the middle. Ooh, going to clear that baby. And Lillian Harvey clears it out. Got a player down for St. Joe. Uh-oh. She's in, in the, the box. box. So she's struggling to get up. She's offside too. Uh, they're gonna, they're gonna ask the team to kick it out. Well, she's oh, she's really, she's struggling. Mm. But she's kind of trying to get back in the contest. Looks like she's got some knee problems. Now she goes down. Yeah. And it's gonna be Sarah Presley going over the top, over to Avery Howard. Nice pass by Sarah Presley. Oh, Avery couldn't quite get it. And uh, Coach Brock is telling her to kick it out. Avery's like, "Are you crazy?" Uh, yeah, she's score. trying to score a goal. Catherine has the ball. To the outside, over to Kaylee Harden. Kaylee kicks there. it out. Kaylee knows what to do. She's like, I, I'm a professional. Here. Yeah, seasoned veteran Kaylee Harden finally kicks the ball out. As Not sure what happened to number five. Maybe caught a, a knee in the thigh or something. Yep. Uh, 25 minutes left in the first half. Hey, it's it's almost October. Are they still going to do water breaks here? I guess we'll we'll know in about five minutes. Right. Yeah, it feels nice out here. It does. Just double checking. Um, I have no idea why I'm not pulling up over here. We are on. Uh, yep. Okay. All right. Then my phone's just kind of messed up here. All right. There's Holly Whitfield with the ball. Gets it over to Kaylee Harden. Kaylee takes it to the middle. Back to Lillian. Good passing here as we get the ball over to Sarah to Elise Howard. Elise, oh, has the ball taken away. A little nudge both ways. Yeah, I think you know, Elise, Elise just got caught looking up the field, yep. see where she wanted to put it. Avery takes the ball back to Lillian. Lillian over to Har Holly. That was kind of a dangerous position. That's the dangerous pass there, but Lillian's going to go ahead and recover. Oh, goodness, out. collision there between 15 and Lillian. Lillian hops right up. Good to see that. Knowing Lillian, she probably filed that one away. <laughs> she's a Harvey. Like, what number was that again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, I got 23 and a half minutes left in this half. But uh, ball goes out. 3 nothing. Pill Academy with the lead. We'll be back in action this Thursday with the final regular season, our final division game versus St. Aloysius. So, do, am I pronouncing that correct? Aloysius? Aloysius. I had never heard of the school until last year, so we're yep. all new pronouncing it. Yep. They're the flashes. The flashes. The lady flashes. Georgia Caroline over. Let me see here. Oh, that's, uh, that takes a shot. Oh, she. Uh, we actually have uh, at least one St. Al graduate in Greenwood, uh, Matthew Hicks, whose it's, wife's Swayze Hicks. I did not know that. Savanker. Matthew. Yeah, Matthew. Matthew, I think. Graduated from St. Al. Yeah. Matthew's a really good tennis player. So is Swayze. Swayze is now at uh, what bank is she at? Uh, Bank Plus. Bank Plus. Okay. Number three takes the ball to the outside. Nice move around Whitfield, but it's going to be there for Maddox, and Maddox is going to pick that ball up. Looks like Weems is getting ready to come back into the contest. Skeeter, you know oh, what? That was a handball. Yeah. Uh, now, Skeeter has not scored yet. You do have the Mosquito thing ready to go, right? Uh, I will uh, I will key it up. Yes, yes. Um, we could. But, but I want to pref preface this. With I am in charge of the sound effect, <laughs> when and if it gets played. Oh, wow. I can't strongly suggest. I guess not. Nice play by Elise. Gets the ball. Oh, it's going to be the keeper right there. Oh, Hodo didn't give up on yep. it. That uh, keeper really took a, a big gamble coming all the way out the way she did, yep. but it paid off. Elena's had a really good season coming off the bench. Of course, uh, Hodo was a young lady. Uh, I think she's is she a freshman, John? Uh, freshman who scored the only goal of the contest in that one nothing victory over Bayo that pretty much secured us the uh, division title. And uh, she'll be a star for the next three years. 
Um, and, you know, we'll need her. Ball goes over the middle. Avery Howard tries to control it over to Hodo a little too much. Hodo has the ball over to Avery Howard. Avery trying, oh, a little trying to do a little give and little go there. Unconventional kick there by Avery. Yeah. Um, Pill Academy will be replacing eight starters, nine significant seniors. Sarah Presley with a shot from the outside, and it's easy for that. Yeah, and what a, what a group. You know, I'm a little biased because uh, last year's group, uh, you know, had such a – storied history uh, and a lot of athletes. Yep. But, you know, side by side, just sheer numbers, certainly. I mean, it's going to be a difficult uh, class to lose yeah. this year of seniors. Yeah. Quality and quantity this year. Last year we had well, – I mean, we had quantity too. Four, four, four all-stars, losing four all-stars. That's quality and quantity. Uh, um, well – I want to list them. I just want to make sure that I mentioned Julia Loveline's name yeah, and I've listed them. Just mention Julia Love. I, I <laughs> seems like whenever I mention the seniors, I forget about you. How do you forget about the homecoming queen from last year, Julia Love Lyon, who was here this weekend, this past weekend, as um, Emma Kate Wallace, Emma Catherine Wallace, I found out was her actual name, was named the homecoming queen, mm -hmm. and Julia Love was there to help put the crown on. Several, uh, several soccer players. In, as homecoming maids. Oh, yeah. You, give us the list. You would never even recognize them, the way they play out here and then they, the way they uh, let's, get, get beautified. Let's let's hear about them. Let's uh, t Tell us the list. Uh, Prep and J.A. are tied 0-0 with five minutes to go in the first half. Are you avoiding my question by getting yes, the list? Yes, I would, I would list them if I knew I wasn't going to mess up. <laughs> you list them. <laughs> By the way, I, I put a long sleeve shirt on. Thought it'd be I'd be cold out here. I'm, I'm really regretting it now. Ball over the middle to the box. Well, they're not pink. <laughs> <laughs> Ball goes to the outside as Don Brock is discussing clothing with uh, the coach of Hill Academy. Um, oh, a little shove there, but it, they're not going to call anything. There's Kaylee. She likes a little shove there. As the ball goes over to Georgia Caroline, trying to clear it. Now that Mary Claire is just never happy with the shirt. I'm telling wear. you. Georgia Caroline over to Sarah Presley. Sarah Presley boots the ball down to Hodo. Can she get there? Oh, she gets Well, she kind of gets there. Hodo with the ball goes to the outside. Um, over to Georgia Caroline. Georgia Caroline back to Hodo with a big left foot. Maybe not. Nice defensive move there by 25 of St. Joe. I guess maybe they're not having a water break, Suresh. I guess not for a change. We have officially stopped having water breaks Two days before the end of the month. Three days before the end of the month. Here comes Giesbrook over the middle. Trying to get the ball over to Hodo. Can't quite get it there. And um, it's going to be controlled by Whitfield over to George Caroline. George Caroline plants it from the outside. Oh, oh, that would have been that so been pretty. Nice one touch there. Boy, if that had connected, that would have been the goal of the year, Don. So do we not know who um, – who we're going to play in the first round of the playoffs next week yet? It's uh, one of three teams. It's either going to be Mag Heights. It's going to be – I think they're all tied right now. Mag Heights. That's right. Mary Claire mentioned that, didn't she? They're in a yeah. three-way tie. It's Mag Heights, Heritage, and um, – oh, goodness gracious, live. And Starkville. 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 So, we don't know. Are two of those three teams playing each other tonight? Do we know that? Uh, Surely tonight <clears throat> and Thursday to decide. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. Uh, we'll figure it out, and we'll be the heavy favorites in that first round, and and uh, see what happens there. Bio will be on the road to play one of those teams in the first round as well, and I got to figure that Bio, by virtue of a uh, little collision there, they're gonna call a foul on uh, Saint Al. Uh, Saint figured, Joe. Saint Joe. Sorry. Uh, I I figure. Um, Bio will be the favorite, and, uh, you know, the favorites don't always win, as we learned from a couple of years ago. <laughs> right. Do I always refer to that game once a year, once a, once a uh, game, uh, the Starkville game from two years ago? But uh, – uh, Oh, Prep is leading 1-0. All right, we got an update. Jackson Prep takes a one nothing lead over J.A. Is that game at Prep or at J.A.? Uh, it is at J.A. because I see so the J.A. So, J.A. beat Prep at Prep. Wow. Well, that prep team was loaded. Uh, you, you watched the game the other day, didn't you? Mm -hmm. uh, but that prep team was fast from the outside. They had some spe speedsters out there. And Yeah, um, I watched uh, 
this game when we played St. Joe uh, on the live stream. You and Benu's Witch did a wonderful job. Thank you. I think uh, at least Howard over Skitty Weems. Addison probably. Weems made a pen pal in that game, didn't she? Yeah, she did. Her, <laughs> oh, it's a header by. Does uh, it go in? Yeah, it goes in. A header. Or is by, he calling? Uh, it was, was a, it an it, own it goal. Was, it was an own goal there. As uh, you know, uh, so the cross was by Goldfield. the cross. Goldfield, I think. No, that's a goal. It's four nothing. The the cross was by Skeeter Weems, so it was a own goal by the defender for St. Al. So the goal goes to Skeeter Weems. Skeeter. Well, psh, hello. Okay, you you determine when the Skeeter I, music comes on here. She she's got to put it in the goal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're quantifying when you're qualifying when the Skeeter music comes on. Okay, whatever. Also, I got hung up on watching the JA Prep game oh, on that's great. YouTube, and that's where my Skeeter music comes from. Nothing like a broadcaster watching another contest while he's broadcasting Well, I game. can't give updates otherwise. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Skeeter, Skeeter Weems crossed it over. Uh, two non nothing Prep. Wow. Skeeter Weems crossed it over on the right-hand side, and Skeeter's on the right side for the first time in a while. I, I, she's taken Avery Howard's place and uh, was able to score a goal as it was an own goal. With 16-10 left, and it's 4 nothing. Hodo to the outside, gets the ball to the middle. Control by Sarah Presley. Howard, Sarah Presley boots it a little bit wide. Yeah, the uh, the young lady f from St. Joe just, you know, was trying to play, play defensively and just sort of back the ball in, I think. Mm -hmm. Wow, Pella looks good. It's 4 nothing. St. Joe is uh, – I think – did Abby Alderman come in? I think she Abby did. Alderman came in as a defensive mid, I think. Uh, yeah, she's playing a little defensive mid position, I believe. Uh, and um, Both Elise and Avery Howard are out right now. Yeah, I wonder if the Howard sisters – those two Howard sisters are coming back in. I'm, I'm kind of watching Elise and Catherine Geese were kind of fighting with Coach Belk over some lifesavers. What's that <laughs> all about, man? Oh, by the way – did Georgia Caroline ever find her earring? That's the question. You know, when she comes out, we got to go. We, we might call her to the booth and get an update on that. You know, we talked about maybe if, if it's a uh, if it's a big advantage that we go ahead and get some of these seniors up here. You're going to broadcast a little bit with these seniors and maybe bring up some things with them. That'll be great. I'm going to hand my mic to them. You can kind of. I'm. We're, if, when Georgia Caroline comes out, we're going to get her up to the booth. Oh, uh, Lola with the ball <laughs> can't seem to get off the. Off the ground. Yeah. Ball goes over to Hodo. Hodo controls it. Nice touch. Trying to clear the ball. Testing. Uh, just what? a test. Just a test. <laughs> it's still funny. I mean, <laughs> uh, that one caught me off guard there. Sarah Presley to the outside. She's going to try to center it with her left foot off of a player <laughs> to the right foot. Back over to Georgia Caroline. Georgia Caroline takes a shot over to Hodo. Ooh, Ooh. Hodo right into the keeper. Great idea by GC. Um. George Caroline with a nice idea. Just got to figure out the thing with the ring. Now you got me. I'm, I'm looking over there. That was like two weeks ago, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think the plan was Coach Jones maybe has a met metal detector and they were going to come back with it. Yeah. We're going to have to get that story. That's going to be a big uh, big update there. Hey, when it's 4 nothing with uh, 13 minutes left, you're searching for uh, things as uh, Georgia Caroline gets the ball over the top. She takes the ball away. Crosses it to the middle over to Matt Barlock going for the hat trick. Goes to the outside over to Abby Alderman. Abby Alderman, oh, has taken away. And it's going to be a fast player for Madison St. Joe with a lot of green. Here comes Madison St. Joe. Lillian's going to get this one. Nope. A nice cross nice over the pass. middle. Nice touch over the middle, maybe a little too much. Kaylee Harden's there. Kaylee Harden just takes the ball away. That's a seasoned veteran right there. Clears the ball. Well, a seasoned veteran turns it over. Uh, the ball. <laughs> Kaylee finally clears it out. Oh, again to the Madison Sojo Joe player. Lillian with a nice touch. You know, well, Catherine and Howard Alderman were in the concession stand earlier. Ah, Howard with food. Go figure. Here comes. I, know it. I hope they did an inventory before he got in there. <laughs> yeah. Hoda with the ball. Pillow for sure lost money on that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> GC surveys the field over to Abby Alderman. Abby gets the ball over to Madison Barlow, over to Skeeter Weems. Skeeter Weems on the outside, tries to cross it over to the box. Ball goes to Georgia Caroline battling. Oh, they're going to call a handball on – is that a handball on St. Joe? That, if it is, it's inside the box. Couldn't 
tell. Is that you knocking on that pin? It is. There? It is. I like, thought that was a woodpecker or something. Okay. Looks like Georgia. People Carol at home thought it was a woodpecker. Yeah. What, what what are the odds of Georgia Caroline scoring from this point? I'd hmm. say over 50%. Yep. Put it somewhere around 68%. George, this is going to be one of those floaters that goes above the crossbar and then below the crossbar. George Caroline with the shot, and she scores. That's just <laughs> so pretty. So I mean, pretty. I should have put it at 98%. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, that was just crazy. You're right. Just kissed it off the bottom crossbar, it looked like. Very difficult for the keeper to get to that. The seasoned veteran, Georgia Caroline Self, scoring the fifth goal of the contest for Pill Academy. And it is 5 nothing. Pill Academy with 11 minutes left in the first half. So we have a couple of subs come in. I saw is it, uh, Yasmin Martinez. Jasmine or Yasmin? I'm sorry. Yasmin Martinez. And number 22 is whom? Is that Beck? Maybe. Maybe. No. Come on, John. Maybe. Havy okay. Johnson? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, maybe uh, did I say Havy Johnson? Yeah. I'm Tavy. sorry. Tavy. Tavy Lane. Oh, yeah, of course. It's Tavy Lane Johnson. It's great to see Tavy Lane out there. Uh, she'll be getting a lot of action next year, too, as Miss, Miss Johnson's daughter comes in the contest, Tavy Lane. I think she's 22 in uh, basketball, too. I'm trying to remember. Um Tavy Lane comes in, and Yasmin as the score is five nothing. What do we have to line up for halftime? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe just a little break. Oh no, we don't do that. We have we have interviews here. Maybe we could play the Skeeter music for eight minutes. The Skeeter uh, buzz for eight minutes. We could do that. Let's see. You know, it's all about getting us on camera. That's what all did I Todd care about. Fincher tell me to tell you. He said uh, the other day to remind you how much he enjoyed listening to you on our halftime interview at prep. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's right. And he specified me, right? Yes, because I was not at prep. Okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah, well, I, Who did you, you interview? Him. Yes. Shot on goal. Nice play by uh, Maddox. A piece of cake for her. Uh, that's actually their first shot on goal of the contest. Uh, yeah, I interviewed Dr. Fincher. Lots and, uh, and lots of uh, knowledge in Dr. Fincher, soccer oh, knowledge. Wow. Not just uh, about teeth and whatnot. Yeah, he's good at that, too. Um, Dr. Fincher, uh, over the years, the years that he coached with Bobo and just the uh, the epic battles with Jackson Prep. I mean, uh, I mean, can you believe from 97 to 2002, five straight – from 97 to 2001, I'm sorry, five straight years that we lost by one goal in the championship game, five different ways of losing all by one goal. Mm. Shootouts, uh, you name it, overtime, um, what have you. Just uh, – it was it was tough. You know, I remember the years that Lamar beat us three straight years by one goal. I thought that was tough. Can you imagine them losing five straight years? Yeah. And they finally got over the mountaintop in uh, well, 2000. you know, all the girls that played uh, on those teams back then probably look at the current Lady Mustangs and think they've got it really easy because we don't have to compete with the preps and JAs and MRAs. In playoffs. At, at, at yeah. least for a championship. Correct. We play them every year. Correct. Uh, and but they did. Yeah, they did. You know, back then, Prep and uh, Pillow were just two of the – they were the two elite teams. They really Certainly were. a more fair system based oh, sure. on a – oh, nice move. Martinez tries to get there. Nice play by the keeper. Here comes George Car – oh, George Caroline gets – oh, just one big touch, a little too much touch there. By the way, I am purposely trying to keep my pitch from going out of sync. <laughs> you, have you noticed that? I'm kind of calm, yeah, cool, and yeah. collect today. I don't even think you've – getting really – up in the higher octaves on any of these five goals. I mean, you, oh, nice play. Oh, a little Goodness physical gracious. battle there. Oh, a little shove there. Where's her call? <laughs> oh, Lillian's going to file that one away. <laughs> she got a little help back to the ground, I think. Wow, there was no call there. This ball goes over the top. Tell you what, there's no, there's no stop in, this, in, the, in the fight of the squad from Madison St. Joe. There's no quit. Ooh, player flips over. Um, get a little chippy out there. I mean, nothing – Dirty, just a little physical yeah, well play it's there. Certainly physical. Ball That's kind of the Lady Mustang's calling card. Mm -hmm. Five nothing. There's a score. Pillar clears the ball out. We've got seven oh nine left in the first half. So we have two goals by Madison Barlow, one by Avery, one by George Caroline, and one by, by we're giving it to Skeeter, but it was an on goal. Yes. Yes. And we want to clarify that if it had not been an own goal, if Skeeter scored the goal, we would have played the Mosquito stuff. Correct. Okay. Just want to make sure. 
That is ah. the ruling. Tavy Lane battling away. Kicks the ball over to Coach Harris. And it's going to be Pill Academy ball as we have a couple subs coming in. It's going to be Lil, uh, Lillian coming out. Number 21, John? Kaylee Lemley. Lemley. Kaylee Lemley. The ninth grader? Tenth grader. Tenth grader. Tenth grader. Kaylee Lemley comes in the contest for the first time. Coming in for Lillian Harvey. Hey, go ahead. Two, six take minutes to go. I don't know. Suresh just took off his headphones and left. I think he's going to sit up and interview. All right. Uh, I missed what happened, but we're getting a uh, PK. George Caroline smacks it off the back of a St. Joe player. And Sarah Presley chases it down in the far corner, battling. Good job by a uh, St. Joe player. Kicks it out, though, and it'll be a corner kick for the Lady Mustangs with 5.43 to go before halftime. Huge lead up 5-0. to zero. Have really come out and played well against St. Al, who is a 4A school. Same size as Pillow. They're in, in the south. And this will be Sarah Presley on the corner. She just kicks it straight out to Avery, I believe. No, that's uh, Giesbrecht. Giesbrecht has been out injured, the senior, and oh, I thought that was going in. And uh, came back for senior night, and she scored a goal. Suresh comes back after after booking some some talent at halftime. Yes, you're going to be interviewing two seniors at the half, two random seniors. It's not going to be Holly and Catherine who have already – uh, who were interviewed before the Jackson Prep game. It's going to be two other players. You'll be interviewing them at halftime with lineup no, or entertainment. I can't do that. Why Why's that? I, uh, pre existing uh, engagement. Obligations. No, you know you want to. I don't know why. No, you, no, 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 no. You recently you're turned this no, no, interview I mean, thing on me. You live be, for it, Suresh. Be, because the people that are listening want to hear you and Paul Lyon. And I know Paul never did soccer games, so they still want to hear you. Uh, hear you too. Tavy Lane trying to get the ball to the outside. Um, uh, ball's taken. Barlow had it. Goes away. And that was Holly trying to battle for it. The ball goes to the outside. Looks like Weems playing a little bit of defense. You she know that Jack such speed. She does. In that Jackson prep game, there was such great speed on the outside that we had to put Weems back there. He hadn't, I've never mm -hmm. seen her play defense before. And she was able to kind of match that speed there. It was an interesting move there. Uh, looks like Campbell Williams is getting ready to come in there. Campbell Williams and uh, Larkin Camp getting ready to come in. This ball goes the outside. Sarah Presley trying to get it. By the way, Larkin tried to talk some uh, Ole Miss versus Alabama smack on my way in here. Is she an Alabama fan or Ole Miss? Oh, fan? yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Huge Alabama fan. Wow. Gets well. that from her dad. Well. Of course, it's how hard is it to be an Alabama yeah, fan? Yeah, I was going to say. Got like 12 yeah. over the last 13 national champions <laughs> yeah, yeah. or something. Despite their coaching which is a joke. Uh, Saban's the real deal. Um, any predictions on that contest this weekend? I think it's going to be high scoring. Yeah. Uh, I think Ole Miss is going to have to score uh, probably 35, probably over 40 points to, to have a chance. Uh, they did it last year, and they still got beaten. Yeah. By a couple of score by about 10 points or so. Yeah, I think Ole Miss scored the most on Alabama all year last year. Oh, yeah. Ball goes over the top, and look at Holly. Look at Holly Whitfield's speed. Gets the ball. Nice play by Holly. Ooh, gets a little shoved down there. Um, it's like St. Joe has the ball over. No quit in St. Joe as we've hit the two-and-a-half-minute mark. Uh, nice little give and go, but there is Maddox surveying the field. You know Maddox just loves to get that ball. Yep. You know, several of these games, it just – she's almost been bored. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so she needs to get some work in. Look at the speed by Sarah Presley Howard. She's got some space, and she's going to go ahead and go around the player. Ooh, the ball's taken away. Nice defensive play. You don't do that on Sarah Presley that often, but mm -mm. she took the ball away. Um, what do you think about college game day? I, you, I would have figured they would have been at Tuscaloosa for the well, Ole Well, I think game. they're probably tired of going to Tuscaloosa. Yeah. Uh, but I would, too. I mean, you have the number one team playing number 12. But then again, 
you know, Georgia, some say they may be the best team, but they are ranked number two. And then the story of Arkansas just out of nowhere, knocking off two ranked teams in Texas and A&M. So that's a compelling story also. You know, my son, I, I booked an airline ticket. He's coming for that uh, Ole Miss-Arkansas game. He cannot wait for that. I mean, game day may be at that one. If uh, if Ole Miss has a decent showing, yeah. uh, uh, you know, there's yeah. a way for them to lose to Alabama and still, yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sort of like Florida did. Yeah, that's a good point you know? there. Yeah, so, Florida moved up in the polls after after losing to Bama. Yeah, we're gonna win though. Oh, Mr. B says we're gonna win. I like it. Yeah, confident, you know, confident. I was uh, I was a freshman at Ole Miss in 1988 when a buddy of mine, John Henson, and I were pledges and went to Tuscaloosa, and it was the first time we had beaten them, and we won that day. And in about 25 years or something crazy. Wasn't Miss Teen USA at that game, Christy Addis? Uh, yeah, they were recruiting her to be a twirl girl for Alabama. That's she right. made a very wise decision and instead was a went to Ole Miss and That's did it. That's right. That's right. Shot on Ooh, goal. Nice, nice play shot. by Maddox. She's that was gonna, a bullet. Yeah, yeah. Miss Teen USA, Christy Addis, whose mother is the counselor at Pill Academy. That's this right. Geraldine Deloach. I had a chance to interview Christy Addis when she won the – I had the world exclusive, 1987. I had the world exclusive. I beat out – was it 17 mag- – what was the name of that magazine? Was it 17, 16, whatever? They wanted the world exclusive, and I beat them out because Christy had promised me that if she won the Miss Teen USA contest, I would have a world exclusive. Nice. You didn't know that, did you? Halftime. You've told me that story before. I did know that. Yeah. Did you interview uh, the 1977 world champion Elvis impersonator? No, I didn't. From Holcomb? No, I didn't. Who you know, was there that? was I don't know. There was a sign for years, and it <laughs> had his name and, you know, the Elvis impersonator sign, and then they put up home of Christy Lynn Addis, Miss Teen USA. Holcomb, Mississippi, produced it. Ha- I think they put that sign up under the Elvis impersonator sign. That's though. awesome. That's awesome. I need – okay, we got two seniors coming up here to be interviewed. George- hey, Georgia Caroline's one of them. you got to do the interview. Georgia Caroline okay. self. We're going to get this camera on uh, Don and Georgia Caroline here. Uh, Lillian Harvey as well. Lillian's going to be playing college uh, soccer. I don't know if she wants to announce it today or not. Mm-hmm. but uh, Well <laughs> – Hey, hey! You got two people from the homecoming court coming up here, man. You know this is this is this is this is, this is this is this is like a big honor here. Who do you want to let's, let's go to Lillian first, and we'll get a uh, here. Lillian, stand here. All right. Sounds good. Don't trip over anything. Like no, you're good. Thank you for the advice. Lillian, before we get to the homecoming festivities, uh, what a first half by the Lady Mustangs. Yeah, I think it was very aggressive. Uh, that was kind of our game plan. You know, a lot of us, a lot of the seniors stepped up and told our girls, look, this is a no-mercy game. We have state championship coming up. I don't care who we're playing. I don't care who we've beat. Previously, it's a no-mercy game from now on. Well, I, So, I, mercy rule is not too far from behind us. So, we're no looking doubt. for it. Well, we, we were talking earlier that y'all came out in a business-like mode. and Yeah, uh, it was definitely a, a mindset. Uh, now tell me, there was a play down here where it looked like you were you were giving a, a helping hand back down to the ground. Oh, we decided we were going to have a WWE match yeah, on yeah. the game, just kind of reenact like Monday Night Raw. Is that what it is? Yeah. So yeah. we decided we were going to do that before the game. Yeah. It was all planned. No worries. Very much. Uh, you did that. Now, um, what are your goal? What is your plan for next year as it uh, pertains to soccer? Next year, I'm actually committed to Holmes Community College under coach Wesley Noble. He's the head coach. He's a great guy. Is Super. this breaking news? Did we just break it live on Pillow Academy <laughs> live stream? Yeah, totally fine. Um, but I have a sneaky suspicion you may not be the last Lady Mustang in your senior class that, no, that goes um, to play somewhere. You know, that's that's some news for y'all to find out, uh, definitely for her to tell y'all. But, yeah, I've decided to commit to Holmes Community College, okay. super great college. Last year placed second in the nation in the national tournament, so that's super awesome. Yeah. Um, I have a great group of girls coming in, also from my club team. Super Fantastic. excited, a lot of talent coming in, forwards, midfielders, back, um, defenders. So we're excited. So you already have a relationship with a lot of girls coming in with I your do. class. Oh, that's uh, fantastic. I know about five or six of them that are on my club team right now that have already committed. So yeah. it's, it's awesome. Um, now, homecoming court. <laughs> uh, it was amazing to watch y'all out there do the WWE moves. <laughs> and y'all cleaned up pretty good. You really oh, did. Thank you, you. Thank up, you. Y'all clean up well. Decided to take the ponytail down, the cleats off for a day, and just – 
kind of actually do my hair for once. <laughs> oh, well, y'all, y'all look y'all look gorgeous. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm sure Mary Claire has some uh, defensive strategy, but maybe we'll get you up on offense tonight. Oh gosh, I don't think you want to see that. Oh, I think we do. Look, I, I can kick a field do. goal if that tells you anything about my shooting. Very nice. <laughs> well, all right. Keep up the good work. Thank you. And uh, one more game, and then playoffs. I know. I'm excited. Looking forward to it. All right, Lillian. Thank, thank you, you and chat. thank you for letting us know about Holmes Community College. Yeah, Look for sure. forward to that. All right, Georgia. All right, Georgia Caroline. And I, okay. there's some very, <laughs> a very important question I have to ask you. Did you find the earring? No. What? I got out here and Coach Jones was already mowing the yard. He had already mowed? Yeah. Yep. I thought you were getting his metal detector. Well, I are was you, all ready for it. Are you in trouble? Score, an, score another goal like you just scored, yeah, and I'm sure right. I bet your parents would forgive you. That's right. Um, now, or, do, well, let's keep it going. Do you plan on play, playing soccer anywhere next year? I actually decided not to. Okay. I'm going to go to Ole Miss. Okay. Maybe play uh, intramural? Mm-hmm. Well, Caroline found out the hard way that freshmen don't play intramurals. I, you can do, like, club soccer, though, or something. Yeah. So that'd be fine. Um, so what do you think about the offensive output we have so far tonight? I think it's fun. Um, you know, Suresh and I put up a percentage when you were kicking the the, uh, the PK of whether it was going to go in or not. Now, you had like 15 girls standing in front of you, and it's not a gimme shot. He said, I'm going to say it's more than 50% chance that ball goes in. And I think I put it at exactly 68%, and I misspoke. I meant 98% because oh. that was a great shot. That's right. Were, so, were you aiming for the underside of the crossbar? Yes. I mean, you're telling me the yes. truth. You were. I mean, that's that's sort of your spot, that top portion of the goal, and you seem to have it down to a fine art. Very so, difficult. All right. I like it. Well, you are you are a long uh, distance threat because you've made many of these. All right. So, we're going to finish up with St. Joe. Hopefully, we hang on. We have St. Al coming in town Thursday. And then playoffs next Tuesday, we'll have home field advantage. We don't know who we're playing yet. Do you have a feeling of who do y'all want to play? Who would you rather not play? Well, it's, it's between, I guess, Mack Height, Startville, yes. and Heritage. I but I think right. that we only play if, like, by the game today, we either play Heritage or Mag. Okay. And we haven't played either one of them this year. Right. We sure have. Or, haven't. like, really in the past few years. Christmas. For a long time, Mag was Magnolia Heights was in our yeah uh, whatever conference yeah. uh, division. Um, well, regardless, it's going to be home field advantage. We know yes. we're going to play the next two, if not three, yes. on our field. And do y'all love playing on this field as opposed to on the road? Oh, definitely. I just yeah. The size of it seems like it, it does benefits. Help us out. Yes, yeah, a with lot. our speed mm-hmm. and. Other teams maybe struggle a little bit. Yes. Well, we wish you luck, George Caroline. Your mom was over here. I don't know if she's looking for you. She's looking for the earring, <laughs> bringing you some water. But go get hydrated, and uh, we want another, another goal here in the second half. Perfect. All Thank right. you. Thank you, George Caroline. All right. With that, I'm going to take a little break uh, also, and we'll be back with more second half action. Lady Mustangs up on St. Joe of Madison 5-0. to zero. So, Don, the big news was basically that uh, Georgia Caroline lost her jewelry. And uh, also, uh, the other big news is that Lillian likes to be on camera and talk. I tell you, she is a natural, <laughs> an absolute natural. I hope she's going into broadcasting yeah. or something. Hey, she, she gets that from her mama. She sure doesn't get that from her daddy. Uh, but uh, GC has been uh, getting significant action on the soccer team since the seventh yeah, I wonder if – Kimberly's over here doing some nursing work. I saw her get yeah. some tape, and she looks like she's going to help out somebody yeah. from St. Joe. You know, we had the player go down earlier. I think uh, she's needing some ice or she's cramping or something. So, um, yeah, any 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 other breaking news? I mean, you got She never it. found the earring. I heard. Two, two, two major stories. She never found the earring because uh, Mr. Jones started uh, mowing the grass the very next day. And the other big news, I guess, is that uh, – Lillian Harvey is going to be playing at Holmes Community College. And that right for now, Georgia Caroline has decided not to uh, pursue a college uh, career. uh, 
look, we're going to have a couple of seniors join us in the second half for the uh, remaining 40 minutes, and you're doing such a good job with the interviews. I mean, today's your day, man. I mean, you know, if although you disappointed me with the Skeeter stuff. The, pe the people want Don Tent. <laughs> there you go. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Uh, that was good. It didn't get a laugh out of me, but that's good. I like well, that. By the way, did you did you notice the discoloration? The, the field's got some green. Some places are more green than others. It was sprayed by a by satellite. What? Uh, uh, Coach Brock was just telling me. Have you noticed the field's kind of like discolored here and there, and it's a little no, too green? I thought apparently, I thought like Mr. B. It was the it was the lighting. No, so. but apparently it's uh, it's greener in some places than, than the other. I mean, go figure that. So so uh, they sprayed to get rid of. Invasive grass, or oh, yeah, that's way beyond my pay grade. Yeah. I mean, yep. Uh, Kimberly Self is certainly taping up uh, a young lady from yeah St. Joe over there. Yeah, what does she know about nursing? Uh, she's she's the head nurse around here. <laughs> that's a joke. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's always good to have uh, Kimberly Marty Self at any contest. Uh, you know, it's good to have them there. Hey, did the, you see? Um, Maybe I won't say her name, but we had a, a pillow supporter saying our first three goals, uh, we were way off sides on all of them. Well, that's great. I know. It was a pillow supporter said that? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. I didn't see that. Was that texted to us? Yeah. Well, I'm glad they're not refing. I know. I she said uh, she thinks that the line judge, well, I won't finish that thought. Well, we, let's not go there. That's interesting. <laughs> to watch the instant replay now. I'm going to watch it tonight and check it out. Uh, as the second half starts, it's five nothing Pill Academy. The shots are eight to one. Uh, actually, uh, and I tell you that one shot by St. Joe was a bullet that yeah. uh, Mad Dog did a great job to get to. Yeah, they are actually beating us on corner kicks. Uh, no, 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 it's one one. It's one one on corner kicks. Um, throw in as Larkin Camp chases away. The ball centered to the middle. Got some subs in there. Ball goes to the outside. Goes over to Maddox. Got to clear it. Yeah, got to get that out of there. So we talked to two seniors. Um, and, you know, with some of the remaining uh, girls on our team, I think also have opportunities to, to play beyond high school. I do. Look, um, we, we could have said that for the last seven years. Yeah. I mean, it's, oh, my it, God. You got to put uh, desire with the talent and opportunity. Um Knowing Lillian, she probably wants to play those two years at a community college and be able to play some uh, – move up to the next level with a four-year university. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the talent we've had over the years, I think that, I mean, all four of those seniors from last year could have played at the next level in some form or fashion. And uh, go back to I – mean, I'm going back seven years. You know – Well, Rebecca um, Falls played yeah. at Belhaven, didn't she? Uh, Millsaps. Millsaps. How dare you? I'm sorry. Call I'm thinking of Lillian's name. brother who played at yes, Bell Haven. Yes, he played at Bell Haven. And then he transferred to uh, Ole Miss, if I'm not mistaken, after two years. Said, had enough of this soccer thing. I want to have fun. Well, <laughs> it's a good place to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Georgia Caroline gets the ball to the outside over to Larkin. Larkin nudges it up, tries to get it over to uh, – that's that's going to be Campbell Williams that's coming to the contest, but quite, couldn't quite get it there. You know, it's, it's kind of cool how um, – even with a lot of the younger kids in there, you know, you got some good old dependable seniors out there supplementing them. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, um, Mary Claire, I think in an interview after a game not too long ago, maybe after senior night, just talked about what field generals Lillian and uh, yeah. and Kaylee Harden are in particular, yeah. uh, helping the younger players or helping anybody <laughs> get yeah. in the right uh, position. By the way, it's a great opportunity right here for uh, St. Joe. The set play just right outside the box. You know Maddox is all fired up. She wants this action here as um, we've got a set play shot by St. Joe. Oh, it's going to go over the crossbar. Trying to do one. her an impression of Georgia yep. Caroline right yep. there. So <laughs> we're going to have a couple of seniors come in here. You know what's funny is they got interviewed at prep, and they're coming right back up here to be interviewed with me. Uh, so uh, we have some naturals. We're going to actually watch the game here. But we're going to go ahead and have uh, Catherine uh, Giesrick and then followed by Holly Whitfield come on the air here. Catherine, come on over here. We can watch this contest while you go ahead and do some commentating. Uh, first of all, it's just so good to have somebody of your talent to be up here rather than Don Brock, who doesn't know a thing about commentating. Uh, I agree. You, you agree? Exactly right, Sir Ash. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I agree 100% on that one. <laughs> Don, she kind of uh, 
Uh, I kind of slammed you there. I like yeah. that. I like you already, Catherine. That's what I'm uh, saying. I will say that Don does bring the Skeeter noise on his phone. So anytime Skeeter scores a goal, it's really good. That's that's the only thing that he brings to the broadcast yeah. here. But uh, Catherine, you're a senior. You scored a goal on senior night. How exciting was that? Uh, that was pretty exciting. It did hurt my foot a lot, but um, you know. It was pretty good, so I guess. So what? You scored, Dad. Come uh, oh, here comes Chance for St. Joe. Uh, 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 wait, do you actually play that? <laughs> <laughs> the Skeeter music came in. Yeah, the Skeeter noise. Yeah, he actually does uh, play Skeeter noise over there. As uh, And it was – I think a, she's hurt. We have a St. Joe player that kind of went down there. You know, by the way, he played the Skeeter noise over there. And uh, Addison, is she even out there? She had nothing to do with that play. No. But uh, that's that's Dawn for you. Um, and so we have a St. Joe player coming. Nope, she'll stay out there. Um, Catherine, how exciting has it been this year to play on the squad as you get ready for the playoffs? Tell us your feelings about the team. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty exciting. We have a good group of girls. Um, it's been a lot of fun, honestly. Like, like it's a lot. It's a lot different when you're a senior, like any other years. To be honest, um, it just makes it a lot more fun. Absolutely. Uh, so where are you going to go to school next year? Oh, uh, I don't know. Have you thought somewhere? Anything? Somewhere in Starkville. Somewhere in Starkville. Yeah. Okay, I understand. That's that's uh, that's two good possibilities there. So you're a big state fan. Uh, yeah. I know you were disappointed the last couple of weeks. Uh, what was up with that punt? That call on that uh, oh, pickup? Don't, 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 don't get ask, you started. Don't ask any questions about the games. Uh, I don't care about the games. Uh, you don't. Okay, we won't talk about Not, that. None of you are fan yeah. about those. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Ball goes over the middle. It's going to be stopped by Sarah Presley. She sets up, and the field goal's good. Uh, by Sarah Presley Howard as, um, you know, you've, you've watched Sarah Presley play. You've been watching this. You've been on this team for the last couple of years. Sarah Presley's been our leading goal scorer mm -hmm. for the last uh, two of the last three years, and she's got like 50 goals. But she's kind of moved to the middle, kind of changed her role, yeah. and, and she's really been effective. What do you think of her play this year? Uh, well, the middle definitely made it where it wasn't just her scoring. Like, I think Madison's really bumped up on her scoring this year and then Addison. But I really think it was a big help. Her and Georgia are really strong in the midfield. They are. For sure. Yeah. Winning a lot of those 50-50 balls mm. and all that. Are you going to miss it? Are you going to miss playing soccer? Yeah. Well, I say I'm not right now. But, oh. <laughs> uh, well, nice, uh, nice play by Kaylee. Uh, what did I kick? Uh, I, Catherine. Uh, <laughs> Knocking over equipment as she's commentating. Really good. Uh, I say I'm not right now because, you know, everybody wants it to be over. But now that we're so close to playoffs and everything, yeah. I really think we all are. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know if you're being hurt or not because I think you just broke all the equipment up here. But nonetheless, uh, our – um, are, are, are we <laughs> we're still okay, on. Sorry. We're still on. Okay, that's good. You'll be uh, getting a bill in the morning right, for fine. a couple thousand dollars. Send so it to okay. Holly. Send it to Holly. There you go. <laughs> Speaking of Holly, we're going to go ahead and transfer the mic over to Holly Whitfield, uh, the I'll senior. Listen I'll listen to her up here. The talkative, glorious Holly Whitfield is on the air. Holly, welcome to the broadcast. Hello. <laughs> okay, you can't laugh. I'm not that funny. Uh, Holly, how exciting has it been this year, your first year starting? How, how have you felt uh, – playing out here for the squad it's been really fun and um <laughs> it's just it, you, you you fit in just fine i'll tell you you fit in just fine here holly that last game you you, you you're a fast per player uh, you have a lot of speed boy you needed that speed against jackson prep didn't you oh yes they were definitely on the fast side. Yeah. Uh, how exhausted were you after that contest? Very. <laughs> yeah. Did y'all go to a restaurant? Did you go straight home to bed? Straight home. <laughs> <laughs> Avery Howard from the outside, a little bit wide there. Holly, uh, you and Lola Ricketts have really come in on the outside defender position. Have done an excellent job. You sometimes play mid defender yes, as well. Um, uh, are you excited about the playoffs? Any expectations? What do you think? What do you think we're going to do this year in the playoffs? I think we're ready, and we just got to go in it. Uh. Positive attitude? Yes. Positive. Yes. Go in it like we're going to win it. Yes. Look, at, look at that. You know, you know, Catherine Catherine had her chance to speak earlier, but I see she's trying to take over <laughs> your interview here, so uh, nonetheless. Well, listen, congratulations to both y'all. Y'all are both seniors. Um, uh, we expect a, a real good shot at a state championship yes, this sir. year, and we're proud of the performance you've had this year. And uh, congratulations on a great softball career as well, by the <laughs> Thank way. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> as Catherine is now directing us to go ahead and get the Skeeter music ready here. So uh, thank you, Holly. Appreciate it. <laughs> as Don Brock is right on the spot here with the Skeeter oh, noise. Here. Always good for a laugh. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So uh, that's fun. We got, we've had four seniors in the last 15 minutes here. Uh, well, if we can't get them all tonight, we have Thursday. 
Oh, what? it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're doing all this broadcasting, and Coach Mary Claire says they don't think the live stream is on. Who? I have no well, idea. tell her it's on Facebook. I know. It's on Facebook. Okay. It's on Facebook. Okay, so uh, we think we're on. We're on. Oh, we're on. Okay, good deal. I mean, we better be with all this Emmy Award winning commentary we're giving here. Let me tell you. Geesbrook um. <laughs> <laughs> got off, and she she wanted to coach uh, Holly on what to say. Yeah, I mean, man. Tell them we're going to win. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're in it to win it, I think was the expression she used over here. <laughs> Can you imagine a, comment, a, a, a game being broadcast with Geesbrook and Lillian Harvey broadcasting? I tell you. Man, tell that you would what. be entertaining stuff right there. Oh, Georgia shot. Carolina plants a shot, and the field goal is good. And if that was going to go in, that keeper said, look, you can have it, lady. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I've had enough of this, yeah. 30 minutes left in the game. Pill Academy with a commanding 5 nothing lead over St. Joe. St. Joe is in but, the – I forgot what division they're in, but uh, will probably be a playoff team. I got an update. Uh, Starkville and Mag Heights were uh, playing, and it was 2-2. Two -two. Mm. And if Starkville loses that contest, they'll be eliminated from the playoffs, and it'll be Heritage and Mag Heights. Wow, great job uh, if, if that – Happens for Mag Heights. They've not made the playoffs in a while, I don't think. Yeah. And uh, it, it'll probably be us versus Mag Heights in the first round. You know, over the years, we've really had our way with Mag Heights. But, again, you know, just uh, I referred to a couple of years ago. Do you remember what happened? You don't remember what happened. I, I mean, a lot happened. <laughs> nice shot. shot by Campbell. Oh, wow. To give me more reference, context. Uh, Starkville Academy game in the playoffs. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know yeah, what happened. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, okay. All right. Hey, I just saw something there. Campbell Williams has got a great left foot there, mm -hmm. and uh, she can play physical too. Uh, she gets that physical uh, play from her mom, Beth Williams, who uh, uh, was a star. She really wasn't, but uh, was a star at Park Lane back in the well, day. She was a star of the Chamber of Commerce. I yes, think. she, she is. served as president. She was a lot better than my year as Chamber of Commerce president. Um, as uh, St. Al. Nice play by uh, St. Al. Why do I keep on saying St. Al? Well, it begins the same. Yep, yep. Mary Claire, Mary Claire with a uh, whiff Yep. Uh, on that. Uh, <laughs> Wing and a miss. <laughs> we got that on the air. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the ball goes by her. And, um, uh, you know, uh, is Palmer here? Uh, Palmer, is he watching the, uh, the game from the he, car? He may be feeding children by now. Oh, I see. Okay, doing gotcha. homework. Gotcha. Ball's thrown him in by Skeeter. Over to Georgia Caroline. Over to Elise Howard. Over to a St. Joe player. Ball goes up. Oh, the ball goes around. Skeeter Weems, number five, has the ball. And the ball's taken away by Georgia Caroline. Georgia I Caroline. cannot believe Georgia Caroline didn't find her earring. That really yeah, just makes me distraught. Yeah. The ball's off of Larkin Camp, and it'll be a throw in by St. Joe. But I didn't ask, I mean, did they go ahead and try the metal detector even though he had mowed? Yeah. I mean, if they couldn't find it, it wasn't sitting on top and yeah. it was down on the ground. You know, there's a, we got a top may still be there. She, she, she never quits. What's up with that? Got to figure that one out. We're going to have some treasure hunters out here tonight. Big throw in by three over to five. But there's Johnny on the spot. Kaylee Harden getting the ball over to Skeeter. Over to Kaylee. Kaylee over to Elise. Nice touch by Elise. St. Joe has shut us out yeah. here in the second half. Watch what happens right here. Elise Howard's fixing to load it up. Goes around the nice outside. Move. Elise Howard getting ready to shoot. Ooh, nice close in and takes a shot. Oh, what a shot. And scored. That was a pretty run by Elise Howard. A couple of moves. Takes a shot from the right side. In the goal, off the post. Elise Howard. Scores the first, and that's the second Howard to score, and uh, it is six nothing. Joseph. Tell me we didn't make that happen. Uh, we did. We I did. comment you that they shut it. us down yep. offensively, and you said, "Watch what's about to happen." Yep, yep. It's kind of like the days when you used to say, "Well, Caroline hasn't missed a free throw all the contests, and she'd miss one." You didn't I, actually say that. I would jinx you. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, you I would. Not, I would not say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Caroline Brock, who you know, back as a. Uh, Freshman, sophomore at times, had a couple of struggles, and all of a sudden it's like she became the greatest free throw shooter of all time, just like that. Hmm. You know where she really shot free throws well? It's the overall championship Clinton, game? Clinton, Mississippi. <laughs> that girl couldn't miss in Clinton, Mississippi. Actually, she could, and then she got her own rebound off the miss That's and scored. Right. That's right. You referred to the 
overall championship game where we beat Jackson Prep, where she was she was actually eight of nine from the field and seven of nine from the free throw line. Not very often when you shoot better from the field than the free throw line, and, you're, and both percentages are over eighty percent. It was a it was a fun day. It was, and for the Brock family, I'll tell you that, and the whole for the whole, for the whole Mustang family. family. Oof, that yeah, was that was seems like yesterday. It was uh that was like late February, early March. You know, I may watch the uh, may watch the game when I get home, Suresh. Again, I do have it on DVD. That's excellent. Do you remember how it was like a different world? We we win a state championship, we celebrate. A week later, you and I and the Look family it. are headed to air to uh, to Las Vegas for a great vacation. We come back, and all of a sudden, the world has changed. That's right. Yeah. COVID. COVID. Twenty twenty. A week later. As we have some subs coming in, Martinez, Hodo, and Giesberg coming in for who came out? Do we have well, nobody players? yet. Oh, no, they haven't come in yet. Okay. Sarah Presley boots the ball over the top. If if there's some seniors that are coming out, we're going to bring them up to the booth, and we're going to we're going to be switching back and forth. You don't uh, you don't want to save a couple of them for Thursday? Uh no, no. We're going to have my wife and your wife on uh, halftime <laughs> on Thursday. Good luck. Yeah. With uh, mine. <laughs> ball goes over the top. It's going to be crossed over the middle. Not, not quite over the middle, so out to the uh, side there. So the Lady Mustangs up 6-0 after jumping out to an early 5-0 lead. 25 minutes left in this contest. Second to last game of the regular season. This is going to move the Lady Mustangs to double-digit wins on the year, right? Yes. yes. Mary Claire. Lola comes out along with Campbell. Hey, can you get Hey, can we get Bo can we get Lola and Madison up here? Suresh has been very right. disruptive to the Lady Mustangs yeah. coaching we're be, staff. We're going to be joined by Lola Ricketts and Madison Barlow. Why do I have a feeling Lola Ricketts is going to be smiling while she's on the air? I just have a gut feeling about that. And Barlow is going to be – I didn't get my hat trick. No, you, you got this. You got this. Okay, well, don't be shy here. You can, you can make it. Hold on, Lola's struggling to get up the stairs. You know, you know, and, and it's, it's – we're going we're gonna to go ahead and oh stay gosh, on camera – while we uh, – so, so Lola, you can't see Lola's smile on the air because uh, we're actually on camera. Sarah Presley boots one over the middle. Welcome to the broadcast, uh, Lola. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> as we have great shot by Hodo. Oh, that was good. Georgia. That was Georgia Caroline. Good gosh. I'm, I'm going blind. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, beautiful shot by – hey, look, Lola's like Georgia Caroline's – George! Georgia Caroline's uh, – Good luck charm here. Too bad you couldn't help her find her jewelry the other day, Lola. I, I know. Mean, what was that all about? Welcome to the booth. How's everything going? Uh, good. Good, good. Things are going well here. Seven nothing is the score as Pill Academy has jumped out to a commanding lead over Madison H.I. I was talking to Holly earlier, Lola, about the fact that uh, y'all have come in and done a great job defensively. We had a great defensive line last year, and y'all have come in here, and it's been it's been great this year. Talk to us about your experience this year. Uh, it's been great. I mean, Lillian really keeps us in line. And Lillian? Yeah. I thought she's kind of quiet. <laughs> no. That's a joke. Always talking. <laughs> yeah. But it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. We need it. Yeah. So uh, you've had a really good season this year. Uh, uh, the coach often refers to you and uh, Holly Whitfield as the two most improved players on the, on the team. Well, we got a little shoving here involving Weems. I haven't seen that against Madison St. Joe this year. Go figure that. And uh, Lola, uh, expectations for this year. What do you think as the season goes on? You're getting ready to have playoff action next week. What, do you, what are you expecting from this squad this year? I think we're going to do really well, honestly. And, and define that. Define that more. I than mean, just, I hope we win at all. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, so how exciting has it been to be a starter this year on the soccer squad? And tell us about your highs and lows of the season. What's, what's your favorite part of the season? And what was the toughest part of the season? Um... Probably when we play all the Jackson teams. That's the that's the that's yeah. the higher the low. <laughs> Lows, but <laughs> also makes us better. Yes, as a matter of fact, think about this: we lost to Prep, we split with JA, and we tied Hartfield. So we're not bad. I mean, that's mm -mm. pretty awesome. And we beat Prep. No, we beat JA once. We beat JA. We split with them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So uh, that's a tough part. How, what, what's what's your favorite part of the season this year? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How about the two wins versus Bio? Did that feel pretty good? Oh yeah. Definitely. That was, yeah, that was probably the best part. Yeah. You know, the uh, we, we didn't broadcast the first game at Bio, and I'd heard they outshot us and all that, but we got we, we, we fortunately won 2-1. to one. The second time, when I mean, throwing a one nothing shutout, you played against a girl over there at Bio by the name of Vargas. Do you remember Vargas? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and y'all pretty much shut her down. What was the key to that? Did y'all just play some great team defense, or what did you do? 
uh, Kaylee. She, <laughs> she, she's just, just as fast as she is, and she has great footwork, and she can get in there and get the ball from her. That's great. So you got two experienced veterans on the defensive line, and Kaylee Hard and Lillian Harvey. How are they different players? I mean, what? Do you, how, I mean, just tell, talk about those two. Um, they have great footwork, and they're really quick, strong legs. They just really help a lot. <laughs> what about personality-wise? Are they different? Uh, yeah, they're very confident, and we need that. That's great. Because I know that I'm, like, very not confident. Like, well, you <laughs> that's should one be. Of my problems. You should be. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, I don't know if you're the best defender out there, but you got the biggest smile on your face <laughs> of the entire team. So congratulations on a great senior year, and bring us back home to gold, okay? Thank you. Okay, we'll good. try. Now we're going to hand the mic over to Madison Barlow, who is – Disappointed us this year. I don't think she. I, I don't think Barlow scored the entire year. She wipes off Lola Ricketts' sweat off the headset here. <laughs> it's like I hear this rubbing noise going on over here. Welcome to the, welcome to the booth, uh, Madison Barlow. Uh, hey. You, oh, hey. <laughs> Delayed reaction by Barlow over here. I think you were paying attention to at least Howard's set play. Oh, it goes way to the side there. Madison, I'm disappointed. I thought you were going to have a hat trick today. You only had two goals. What's that all about? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Coach took you out too quick? I don't really have an answer for that. Uh, I don't know what to say. I had a great opportunity at Jackson Prep at halftime to interview your grandfather, and what a uh, what a great uh, story it is about him and him being honored by Pill Academy and all that. But let's talk about your mother and what a great soccer player she was out there. What's it like? How does she encourage you? How does I mean t talk about the uh, soccer relationship between mother and daughter? Well, you're asking me these difficult questions. I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry. Well, I mean, uh, whoa, nice, nice shot over there. Uh, you know, she, you, you you have to come come on the footsteps of a great, great soccer player who won helped Pillow win its first state championship. Oh, definitely. Uh, how does she encourage you? What does she do out there? Does she give you any pointers? Talk to me about after each game. Does she talk to you about things? No, she. She's either going to say good job or she's either going to, like, just not come in my room for the rest of the night ah. and just leave me. So that pretty much dictates yeah. whether she thought you had a good oh, game yeah. or not. She yeah. stays away from me and all mm -hmm. that. Well, that's something else. You have really exploded this year. I think you have – I think you're close to 15 goals this year. Are you keeping up with it? Oh, I'm not. Okay. Well, no. you had a hat trick against uh, – St. Al, and I, I'm, I think you're at 15 goals. You're the leading goal scorer. Big difference this year is they moved you from that left side over to the top and moved Sarah Presley back to the middle where she's really mm -hmm. excelled. Talk about that change and how it's affected your performance this year. Well, honestly, I like it more on the left because I feel like I'm doing more. Like in the middle, I feel like I'm just like standing there waiting for it. Yeah. Well, I feel like I could – I don't ahead. know. No, that's a, it's a very good point. But, I mean, you know, with your speed – Having that speed up top and your explosive speed has made a big difference as we have a foul on – that's Weems has a foul. No, it wasn't Kaylee. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was Kaylee. Okay. So, yeah, um, so uh, your explosive speed over the top really makes a difference for our squad, and uh, having that speed at the top is so important. What are your expectations for this team this year as we get ready to go into playoff action? Oh, I hope we're going all the way, definitely. Is, yeah. yeah. Is there any team in 4A uh, that – I mean – uh, we've had a couple of close ones with Bio. Talk to me about Bio and what you expect if we get a chance to play them in the playoffs. Anything in particular you want to say? Well, I mean, it's always close. Yeah. I mean, we usually outshoot them, but still, yeah. it's always really close. Yeah. You have been starting since the ninth grade. Is that right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. You about start, like that. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I would think it was the ninth grade. You were a starter on that 2018 state championship team versus Hartfield. Yes. That one in – one million overtimes, it seemed yes. like, and uh, never forget that. So, uh, how special would it be for you to uh, you were start? That was the first year you started in the ninth grade, and mm -hmm. this is four years, three years later as a senior, you'll be starting. How nice would it be to have bookend state championships? Very nice, <laughs> very very nice. Yeah, that'd be a pretty pretty awesome. Hope that happens. Yeah, but don't. Hey, Sarah Presley gets the ball over to the box. Can can George Caroline get to it? Nope, come on, come Not come quite come get there. I think GC's had two goals. If she scores a hat trick while you're on the air. You know, oh, there's the ball over the top. Oh, it was whiffed by Avery Howard. And Avery's the only – no, Avery did score earlier. I think Sarah Presley's the only uh, Howard that hasn't scored yet. So, uh, anyways, great career at Pill Academy. You've got uh, one more regular season game after this and then hopefully three playoff games. Best of luck, and I want to see you at 21 goals at the end of the year. <laughs> okay. okay. Don't score all of them next game, by the way. <laughs> Good job, Madison. Thank you. Oh, I didn't ask you. Are you playing soccer next year in college? 
If I, wait, 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 wait. I, that was the question I was going to ask her. I completely forgot about it. Oh, she's like, forget it, forget it. Okay, I guess. Do you have a tissue or a, <laughs> a napkin or something? <laughs> it's still kind of humid out here, and uh, the, the headsets are a little soaked. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, that was nice to have those, too. Anyway. Yeah. Well, look, Madison was busting a bu bubble to get back in. So she kept talking about her failure to have a hat trick, and there's still 18 minutes left in the game. <laughs> And with Georgia Caroline still out there, she's like, wait a minute. You didn't see her tapping at her wrist the whole time. Like, oh, okay, let me <laughs> yeah, go. I did not notice that. I did not notice that. You know, Giesbrecht said, uh, we're, we're in it to win it. Yeah. Lola said, you got to grin it to win it. Oh, there you go. That's it. That's there, you know, that's why they pay you the big bucks there. That's right. Now, that's two right. great girls right there. Yeah. Doing a great job this year. And, uh, you know, I hope it ends. Oh. Uh, with the victory. Am I not right? She's always smiling. Oh, yeah. She could be injured out there, and maybe the smile will come off, but otherwise she's she's just smiling 24-7. Here comes St. Joe over the middle. The player gets the ball on the outside, goes around, takes a shot. She should have taken a shot. Holly, Holly. just like. Closed in. Just being harassing. Yeah, yeah. 15 minutes left in the contest. Did you hear me uh, or Georgia Caroline's answer when I asked her if – that spot she kicked that PK in was, you know, where she aims, that top uh -huh. portion right under the bar. She said, straight face, yes. That's awesome. I mean, that's my spot. That's, that's what awesome. I where I'm aiming. We used to uh, talk about uh, – who was it last year? It was Madeline Kelly that used to be a specialist in that. There's just something special about being able to uh, place that ball where it literally when it's up in the air, it's over the crossbar at, at some point, and then it dips down. It's just it's, – it's a little – uh, dip down here. Is Unless you, you've got a uh, a really tall keeper or somebody able to leap. I mean, it's almost impossible yep. to get to. Look at, speaking of being able to leap, yeah. very aggressive move by Mad Dog coming out and getting yep. that. Here comes Hoda down the field. Hoda gets the ball over to Avery Howard. That'll be our future next year as you see Hoda over to Howard. So the Lady Mustangs have seven goals by five different yeah. Yeah. scores. Yeah. Actually, it's four because um, – no, it's five. You're exactly right. Madison has two, and uh, 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 Georgia Caroline has two. The ball goes across over to the, to the right side, crosses over by nine. Look at Maddox there, like a laser. Laser. So is uh, – <laughs> was that your George Bush impression? No, that was actually my uh, Austin Powers. Oh, yeah, like yeah. Laser with my fingers. Here comes Elise Howard. Elise trying to nudge the ball over the top. I think she's trying to get it over Sarah Presley. A little miscommunication there. Sarah Presley saying something to Elise. I've never seen the Howard girls upset with yeah. each other. <laughs> never seen that before. No, that's a first. Yes. Did I tell you that I asked Elise on the air at Jackson Prep if there was a if there was like a three way fight between you and Avery and Sarah Presley who would win? Do you know what her response was? She said Avery. I said why? Because she would fight dirty. Uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. Very interesting. Good insight. Yeah, yeah. She was just she just might, straightforward said it. She would fight dirty. Might pick up just a anything uh, and use it as a weapon, household <laughs> materials. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No disqualification. Sarah Presley sends a nice floater up there to to Sister Avery. Avery Howard over the middle, over to Martinez. Martinez oh. shoots it to the side. Oh, she wanted to score, and, and boy, all her teammates wanted her to score. Wow. Lola Ricketts with a nice smile there as the ball goes to the right. She's always smiling. Did I just raise my voice? You did. I did. First time all night <laughs> talking about Lola's smile. Not any of the seven goals brought that yeah. that reaction. Yeah, yeah. I need to grab I, this. Excuse me. I think Saint uh, Saint Joe is like is ready to to hit the trails. Um, that's right. One more goal. And uh, and they call it. And so we could avoid this last uh, little over 12 minutes of this game. We could, we could put one more in the back of the net. Good point, Mr. Benuzewitz. Also, I saw a video with a bunch of teachers that uh, did a skit. You've got some acting skills, man. I, mean, you, I think you really showed up in that. Lady Mustangs work it up the field again. It's going to be a goal kick as we are now under 12 minutes. And uh, we'll be back in action Thursday. 
and we think it's an early game. Check the Pillow website. We think it's a five. Uh, 5 o'clock or 5.30 game on Thursday as we finish up the regular season. The Lady Mustangs will take on uh, St. Al, who they de defeated uh, over in Vicksburg uh, pretty soundly, 4-0, 5-0, somewhere in that range. Saturday morning? Yeah, that was a Saturday game. It's at 5. Oh, it's at 5 o'clock on Thursday. So Thursday, come on out at 5 o'clock as they – Lady Mustangs finish up uh, their regular season with double-digit wins. This win will put them at 10, I believe. And uh, you're going to want to support these girls down the stretch. After that, it's just the playoffs. And uh, the playoff will consist basically – oh, Sarah Presley really rushes the keeper there. Uh, three games, including the championship game. And uh, the Lady Mustangs are trying to bring home the uh, first championship since 2018. Who do we have down? Is that Holly? I really didn't see what happened. I was actually trying to, uh, to see the year that we won that state championship. That actually. Ah, uh, kind of got bumped by uh, the St. Joe player, Holly. Coach Brock's out there checking on her and helps her Holly to her feet. It's like she's sort of ginger on maybe that left ankle. So hopefully Holly is okay. She has had a knee injury uh, a couple years ago. And she has helped off the field. She Coach, okay? Coach Prather comes over to check on her. Almost runs over Lola Ricketts while he's coming <laughs> out there. Sanjay was uh, giving me a preview of the big uh, playoff game between the SAEs and the uh, Sigma News at uh, SMU. Got you. That's uh, the championship game, yeah, and yeah. this could be the eighth goal. Nope. No, it's a quarterfinal game, by the way. Quarterfinals. Nothing like getting SMU intramural updates. Yes, we're searching, folks. It's 7 nothing. With Very exciting. <laughs> Hey, what were you talking about, Caroline? She can't play uh, soccer her freshman year? Right. They don't They don't have uh, <coughs> freshman pledge class uh, intramural teams, uh, which is different. When I was there, we had a, f a pledge class flag football team or a freshman flag football and basketball. And well, that's uh, unbelievable. That's so, so what changed. intramurals are uh, Caroline playing this year? Well, none. Wow. How is Caroline Brock not playing a sport right now? Well, she's playing tennis. I mean, That's she, awesome. That's awesome. She and Ann Craig Melton went out and played tennis, and she's missing, and another Lady Mustang goes down. Kaylee Harden. Kaylee can't afford to lose her. We saw Holly down. came out. Yeah. I think Holly's okay. Yes. Yeah, she's uh, playing tennis, and she actually uh, got Ann Craig to, to go rebound with her. Now Kaylee goes back down. I think she's just uh, cramping how she gets up immediately. That's, you know, hey, let's get her out of the contest. Uh, she's no, she's waving off the coach. She's like, no, I'm Kaylee Harden. <laughs> and and uh, Coach Brock says, no, you get out. Yeah, you get out. We got to save you for the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry. The poll. She was. She, we need to tell them no action needs to occur behind the pole. Yeah. Good job, John. Not getting the pole moved yet. Getting back to the uh, exciting discussion about intramural tennis at Ole Miss. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and Craig Melton and Caroline Brock. The Defending Academy, well, I say defending, they're not playing it anymore, but the uh, Academy 4A division, the, the Academy 4A state champions at number two doubles. I mean, how, how incredible was that? Did, did, did you ever think in your wildest dreams that the only state championship Caroline would win her senior year would be a tennis state championship? Did not see that coming. Yeah. And look, if they need to come back and defend it, I'm sure they will. <laughs> Yeah, they would. Gladly. Tell me Ann Craig Melton and Caroline Brock would not be able to go out there. What, what a way for her to finish her athletic career at uh, Pill Academy. Um, literally her fourth or fifth sport winning a state title. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It was certainly. Uh, great memories. If you're out there and you got a, a granddaughter or a daughter, you know, just uh, enjoy every second of it. You better believe it. You better believe it. Elise Howard surveys the field, gets the ball over. Okay, I'm sorry, 21, John? Uh, Limley. Limley, okay. So I, 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 
I've been broadcasting the entire year. I haven't brought a roster a single time. Well, you, you normally really don't need it. Yeah. Uh, you pretty. do a pretty good job of m- remembering about 95% of the names. It's that 5% Ooh, every, every once in a while. A little misplay there, but she kicks the ball out. Hey, she's not smiling. Uh, she wasn't happy about that. Yeah, almost uh, – a little turnover there. Six and a half minutes left in the contest at 7 nothing Pill Academy. We'll be back in action uh, Thursday. And, uh, oh, the oh, ball no. goes around. Cross over the middle. Oh, Ooh. right by. And uh, Maddox almost lost her shutout A right there. rare uh, miscue. Not, miscue. I'm not going to call it a mistake because they didn't. didn't we suffered no ill consequences from it. Yeah. But uh, that was scary. Yeah. Uh, and uh, – we looked it up. It's 5 o'clock Thursday. You may have already said that. Wow. Look at that. Look at the Maddox, man. She just makes it look so easy. Yeah, 5 o'clock uh, Thursday. We'll be back in action with that broadcast. And Friday, uh, we'll be jo- we'll be in the uh, at Bio Academy for a key, key uh, conference uh, football game. Yeah, I, I can't believe we hadn't talked about football. I, boy, I thought that the uh, Pillow football team really played well Friday against Jackson yeah. Academy. Gave Jackson Academy all they wanted. They did. They um, did. I mean, have just you, kept coming. Have you seen the video that Pillow put out today? It was put out by my daughter. Not it's yet. A beautiful video of J.A.'s commentators at the half talking about Nelson Hodges and how we had to figure out how to stop Nelson Hodges. Yeah. It's a great video. And uh, Nelson, I mean, what an incredible. Well, look, he got an interception. Yeah. He was running the ball. He was catching the ball. He was throwing the ball. Ooh. A little shove from behind there. Ooh, they're going to take a shot. And uh, yes. I almost raised my voice there. Uh, Nelson Hodges in the first half had – Two passes defended, one interception, and two touchdowns caught. I mean, what a what a great first half. And both touchdowns were just in a spectacular fashion. This is what kills me about Nelson. Spectacular touchdowns or whatever. The players are ready to go crazy. He hands the ball to the ref and slowly <laughs> walks off the field. Is the guy from the planet Vulcan? I mean, are you kidding with me? We're, I mean, we got to work on the uh, – That might be uh, having a, a, a coach for a mom. Yeah, well – we got to work on the bravado a little bit because Nelson, <laughs> Nelson, you got to be a little flamboyant out there because what you did was spectacular. Uh, Sarah Presley gets the ball over to Barlow. Barlow going for a hat trick. Ooh, the keeper comes out, makes a nice play. Hey, Barlow's back out there. I think I inspired her to go for that hat trick. And well, she was just chomping at the bit to get back out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You, just, you kept her up in the booth yeah. too long. Nelson Hodges, again, a great – and if you get a chance, go to Pillow's Instagram page or go to their uh, YouTube page and take a look at that video. Again, it's yeah. uh, Brian Eubanks and the JA Raider Network talking about it. Man, we got to figure out how to stop this guy. And they really showcase him. It's, it's, it's really cool. They show him catching his two touchdowns as we have a corner kick. Weems over the middle. Oh, Barlow almost tries to one-time almost. it. Well, I want to see it. Uh, it was one of the touchdowns, a, a beautiful pass by Lamb, yeah. and he, like, caught it sliding yes. in the corner because it – it was very difficult to see from the yeah. pillow uh, home stands. Actually, uh, was yeah no. Actually, he doesn't catch it sliding. He catches it. The ball looks like it's going to be inter- I mean, it's really high, and he li- literally takes it away from the defender. Uh, you'll see it when you see the replay. Okay. I thought I, I thought it was what you said, but it was really hard to see from the stands. And we actually, when you see the highlights, beautiful. We need an update. Yes. Oh, okay. We're kind of trying to broadcast the game here. Oh, a nice shot by. That's uh, it. Oh, uh, was that Sarah Presley? We were distracted by the coach. I think it was Sarah Presley Howard with a goal. And, and that uh, will end it. That ends it. The final score is Pill Academy 8 to nothing. Sarah Presley scores her umpteenth goal of her career. That was SP? That was SP. What a way to go. Yeah, Coach Brock had us distracted over here. We're trying to get an update on the Starkville game. Okay, whatever. So, Pill Academy wins the contest 8 nothing. moves to 10-3-1 on the season. Uh, uh, yeah. Mary Claire, coach, come on, come on up here. Don wants to talk to you. Your uh, sister-in-law does not want to talk to you, but I'm making her, I'm forcing her to come up here. Well, she probably wants to talk to her team. Well, it's okay. We get priority. Here she, co- here she comes right here. What she do you want up. me to ask her, Suresh? Uh, yeah, let's... I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll be really quick. Hold on one second. I have no idea. You need to be spontaneous for once in your life. <laughs> I know it. You need to go dismiss them. You want to wear them? Yeah. Yeah. Coach Brock, great game. I mean, what else did you want to see from your team other than an 8-0 shutout? 
Um, there's not much I can say about an 8-0 shutout, especially I'm just glad I got some of my subs in and um, they can finish out the season and get in some playing time. Um, really, we're just trying to work hard as and make these last two games like a good practice to start playoffs next week, and that's kind of what we're doing. We're waiting. Like from the defense standpoint, we're trying to wait for um, – Mad Pup, Mad Pup's punting the ball. We're waiting to get to half field. So we're kind of slow on our, um, we've been slow on our transition. So that's a big thing that we're kind of trying to work on well, from, from that standpoint. From a uh, untrained eye, looks like we're hitting on all cylinders at the right time. We really are. Um, it's scary when somebody like Kaylee Harden goes down and also is Holly Whitfield okay? She's okay. They both just kind of tweaked their ankles, okay. but we're fine. All right. They're fine. Well, uh, Suresh made sure we interviewed how many? Six girls, six seniors, I think. I mean, he was just on a tear. And I tell you, Lillian Harvey is a natural. Oh, she loves to talk. <laughs> she's a talker on the field, too. She <laughs> well, she's a field to... general, right? Right. I mean, you she want her talking. Field general. Absolutely. Uh, and then she uh, let it be known that she's going to play soccer at Holmes Community College. She is. And I'm pretty sure that's not going to be the last of your players. That will play no, uh, we, at the um, next level. Madeline Maddox has kind of gotten some offers. And, um, of course, Kaylee Harden's going to Northwest. And um, Georgia got some offers. And uh, Madison and Sarah Presley are talking now. They're wanting to kind of go to the next level. Yeah. So that's exciting. We've never had that many. I ever. mean, this yeah, this could set a record mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. All right, so we have St. Al coming in town Thursday. Early game, 5 o'clock. Right. And then it's postseason. And yeah. uh, uh, we're just waiting to see what the score is from the Startville game tonight. Um, and so, uh, if Startville wins, we play Mag we'll Heights. Play, and no, if Startville wins, um, Her we will play Heritage. Okay. Heritage is in first right now. So if Startville loses, they're out. Wow. So we'll end up playing. If if they lose tonight, we'll play Mag Heights. If they win, we'll play Heritage. Okay, so we're not playing Startville, regardless. Regardless. Win or lose. Right. And but regardless, that game is here next week, Correct. next Tuesday. Correct. Hopefully, um, we'll win that one and get to host the next round too. So. Okay. Well, coach, I, and we've already told everybody to come out next week. They please, want they please, want please, to get please. on this bandwagon of this team because, uh, of course, the goal is a state championship. Absolutely. And you want to say you were there and part of it. Yes. All right, I've got to go home and cook for my one kid at home. You've got like 111 you need to go feed. Palmer has cooked supper. He texts me and said he has supper ready. That's fantastic. He must have gone through McDonald's. <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> All right, well, great job, Coach. Tell your girls, great job. Well, they've already left. Yeah. All right, yeah, we will right, see right. you on Thursday. Perfect. And for Suresh Charla and Mr. Benuswitz, this is Don Brock. Thanks for joining us.